Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. We have toxic behaviors. Oh Lord, it's already looking some type of way. We have multiple options. Oh my gosh. We have this month. luck and love so your love life your love life will soon shift in a part positive direction so you can see a positive shift when it comes to your romantic relationships or your love life in the month of may okay or within the next month solo path so some of you guys um maybe you feel like you keep trying to get into relationships with people and you just feel like it's not working out. So some of you guys feel like you just need to be single right now. For others of you, you're just you're staying, you're choosing to stay single versus being with a specific person. Because it says bad habits and repetitive unhealthy patterns will, ca will cause challenges. It says true love will come after you've learned how to find comfort within your independence. So some of you feel like so you need to learn how to be single, not need another person. That you need to work on codependency, or this is somebody that's in your energy. Clarify multiple options. We have short-lived. So it says, test the waters. Choice will be yours. And it says, they don't plan on playing a permanent role in your life. So I see you guys like kind of dating around or having like a few different people that you'll be talking to. But I don't know if any of these situations will stick. Some of you guys may choose to just be single. And, you know, I don't know. We're going to see in a second. What about this month? We have soul love. Oh, your energy is magnetic and drawing in a soulmate or a twin flame. Okay. So the energy that you're in is actually drawing in. Some of you guys are hyper independent. That's also what I'm kind of getting from this is that some of you guys have been in this energy where you're, you've just been hyper independent and it's actually been like, you've been too much in your masculine energy and you needed to get more into your feminine energy. And the fact that you're getting into this energy is actually calling in a soulmate. Because you're in a more receptive energy. Interesting. Okay. So that's why things are changing. Tell me more. Like you you actually will have multiple people that want you or that you'll be dealing with or that you could deal with. You know, we have Earth. It says Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Anything else? We have tempting desires. Yeah, lust will act as the main motivator, fueling momentum in the situation. What is that about? Waste of time. So somebody's just coming towards you for sex. Tell me more. Get out of there. Yeah, somebody just wants sex with you. They find the love you seek, the to, to find the love you seek, you must first detach from your comfort zones. So somebody is too comfortable. Tell me more. Very soon. Let's see. In action. They aren't pl currently planning to take any action for movements in the connection. This could actually be one specific person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that you've been dealing with that has an issue with lust. And they've been wasting your damn time. But in their comfort zone is like sexual relationships. They don't go deep. They like service level, superficial type things, strictly sexual. Yeah. But it says they're not taking action towards you right now, but we have journey. So this, remember you guys are drawing in a soulmate or a twin flame, this card says. So it says a change in direction will lead you to the heart meant for you. So you guys are choosing, what is this change in direction? Lurking. A third party will try to creep and pry in the... Oh, so somebody is going with, to be with a third party. Oh, and what is that leading to? A heart given. A potential suitor is making their way towards you now. But what about this lurking third party? Gossip. Oh, it could be that too. Someone is speaking about you and it's influencing their decisions. So somebody could have went down a different path because of the influences of uh, like outside people. But now... Somebody's coming towards you. We have phone call. Open the lines of communication. They will call. Yeah. Because they feel like you're abandoning them. Ghosting and disappearing acts left with no closure. They don't feel like things are over. You guys may hear from this person within a few weeks. Whoever's coming towards you is a soulmate or a twin flame. Because it says this month and you're drawing in a soulmate or a twin flame. So whoever comes towards you, whoever reaches out to you, sends you a phone call, that may be an indicator that that is possibly your soulmate or your twin flame. But it says don't wait around and within six months. So they may not be 100% ready to be with you right now, but maybe within six months they will be. But there's something about you keeping your options open and them knowing that you're keeping your options open. That's actually making them like drawing them in more or something like that. 
Hmm. Give me a few more. In the works. Yeah, something's in the works next year, okay? And ambitious. They're currently focused on their goals and place little priority on love, okay? Swept up, but they're stuck on you. A whirlwind romance will soon sweep you off your feet. Tell me more. And discretion. Low-key or hidden romance will come to pass. Oh, so this is somebody that was keeping you a secret or trying to keep the relationship that you guys share on the low. That's going to be changing. Yeah. Romance blooming. Yeah. Your love life will soon be filled with a heightened energy of romance. What is bringing in this new heightened romance spirit? Committed elsewhere. What? They are still involved with or have feelings for someone else. What about committed elsewhere? Fairy tale fantasies. Release unrealistic expectation to avoid disappointment what because they're saying discretion use your discretion not the okay so the only way that i do feel like you will be able to have the opportunity to have this type of connection with this person but it's you need to use your discretion about when you choose to engage with this person because if you engage with them too soon this person is still in a relation with somebody else. And it's going to be important for you to not fall for this person's potential or what they're telling you that they're working towards or what things can be like in the future. There's a need to look at the reality of the current situation. So all I can tell you right now, guys, is that right now is not the right time for you and this person to be coming together. But I do see that in the future, you and this person can have something really great. But right now, they're involved with someone else or they still don't know. They're still confused about their... See, look at this distant future. So it's going to take a while. I don't think it's... It could be next year. I don't think it's like the far, far distant future. But I do see like changes won't maybe happen until like next year or you won't be able to, you know, be in this romance with this person until like maybe next year or something like that. But it says great love is worth taking chances and making the sacrifices. I do feel like even when this person does come in and they're being serious, it's going to be hard for you to trust them. You have seduction, drawing one another in with sexual tactics, Lord. Secret admirer. They have been trying to resist it, but they can't help but feel drawn to you. So that's why somebody's coming towards you because they, it's hard for them to stay away from you. They like they love the sex with you, apparently. Um, yeah, they will choose to be and stay with you. No one else compares. Your love life is about to ascend to new levels. They have been trying to resist it, but they can't. Current circumstances are leading to marriage. Yeah, half truth though. It's like they're gonna be not telling you the full truth just so that you can, you know, get back together with them. Clarify half truth. Inner child, inner child wounds will challenge progression, progression in the in love and surprise twist. In what way? Next week, the hand you are dealt may not be what you are expecting. What is happening here? Casual dating. They want to keep things simple and see where it goes. They may come in and be like, look, like, let's just see where things can go between the two of us. Let's get to know each other better. Let's take things slow. They want to get to know you in, on a deeper level and for, for you to get to know them. They may want to open up to you a little bit more than they ever have, but it says take a closer look. Yeah. Don't let love blind you. There is more to be uncovered. They're not telling you the full truth. So uh, they're, gonna, they're trying to put you in a third party situation. You know, of course. Because they're still involved with somebody else. For what reason? Who knows? But, um, let's get some tarot. Um, we have the seven of cups. The Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay. Two of Swords. Yeah, this person who's confused about their... What is this? But making a decision. I was about to say somebody that's confused about their feelings and emotions. But somebody's making a decision here. The Hanged Man. To let something go, to release something, looking at things differently. Pisces energy. What does this have to do with my collector, though? The Five of Wands, okay. And the Ace of Wands. 
and the Page of Pentacles, you do have new opportunities coming towards you. I do think that they will try to come in and fight for you or respark things with you, try to get a new opportunity with you. But what do they need to know about that? The Magician and the Justice, okay? And the Seven of Swords. So they are going to try to come in and manifest something with you. They are going to try to make something right with you. But there is deception. They're not being honest with you about something. They are hiding things from you. They're trying to get away with something. Clarify the Four of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you guys are going to reject this person because you know that they're juggling or this person's afraid of, what is this? They're going back and forth about something here. Why are they in this Two of Pentacles energy? The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Why are you? I don't know if this person doesn't know if you have somebody new or something. You have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, the Four of Wands. And the Knight of Pentacles. This person, they feel very attracted to you. They do feel very drawn to you. You have like this mag magnetism between the two of you. But they're, they're moving very slow to offer you something committed and stable. It's like they still haven't made up their mind about it. But why is that though? Why are they so indecisive about this? Six of Wands. They like attention. The Three of Swords. What about the Three of Swords? This person like kind of knows that they'll hurt you. It's crazy. Yeah, yes. This person knows that they will hurt you. This person knows that right now they won't be faithful to you. Like, I don't know how, I'm just putting it very blunt, bluntly. This person knows that if they come in and they say, okay, like, I'm ready to just commit to each other. Let's be together. This person feels like for who they are right now, they still crave attention from multiple people. They still like to have their options. They know that they're going to cheat on you. They know they're going to hurt you. They know that they're not, yeah, the tower, that things are going to just come crumbling down between the two of you, like, because they're going to mess it up. This person knows that they, they won't be able to do right by you. They know that things are inevitable to end. If they come towards you right now. Yeah, Knight of Cups. And we have the the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, they know they have to come towards you like willing to put in the same energy, effort, loyalty, devotion to the connection that you're willing to, to um, give to them. Yeah, Three of Wands. So yeah, it's like they're waiting until they feel like they can give you something that's balanced, fair. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. The Ten of Swords, Temperance, mm -hmm. the Page of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Working on what? Walking away from something, healing. Yeah, Page of Wands. But they're all, they're worried about you walking away from them too, or they already know that you're in the process of trying to detach from them. Oh gosh, that's exactly what it is. They know that they're gonna cheat on you. They know that they're not capable of being. It's like, ugh. Because we have toxic behaviors here. This per this is somebody also that does not know how to be single. So this per this is the kind of person that will have a roster of people just like they, like, they, they like to have backups. And have backups. They have to be given a little bit of something to that connection to a degree. Like they maybe not have to get a whole lot, but they got to give a little something to that. So they know. And if you're supposedly in a relationship with somebody and you're entertaining other people, you're cheating. It's like this person just knows that they will cheat on you. Like they know that they're not ready for just to be with just one person. It's like they don't really want to like, they maybe already did mess things up with you all the way. But it's like they're just in this energy where they're thinking like, I don't want to irreparably mess things up with the collect with the collective. But they already possibly have. So, um, oh shoot guys, I'm keep dropping the cards. Oh, give me a second. Oh, shoot. All right. Tell me what else they need to know about this. Unclear path. So it says step by step, keep going. And it will lead you to destinations you might not have considered. Unknown, hidden blessings, okay? We have risk. So there's this energy of risk here. Love that involves great risk. Taking chances, leap of faith, playing with fire, a lot at stake, facing fears, and gambling. So what does this mean for my collective? We have the, your time is now. So they're telling you that now is the time to take a risk. You're at the right place at the right time. You have you have to do what you are meant to do. Ready, time sensitive, and act now. So what is it that they need to do now? See, imbalance. They need to correct some type of imbalance. 
There is unequal power dynamic in a situation that needs to be brought back to balance. Unequal unfairness, un conflict. What did I say? Commitment. So this could also be them feeling they need to take a risk and like fully commit to you. But I would be careful with that, guys. I don't think that they're ready to actually. They're not going to follow through. There will be a lack of follow through with this. I'm telling you. Commit to this next stage in your development. Or they're, maybe they're about to commit to themselves. That's what they need to do. Commit to themselves so that they can commit to you. Okay. So they're committed on work to they're committed on committed to working on themselves so that they can make a, a solid commitment to you. And I probably that's what I'm going to name this reading. OK, but yeah, it says commitment to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Long term determina determination all in. Yeah, but they know that they got to get on your level or, you know, somewhat. Yeah. Hidden secrets. Careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all the facts. Act with discernment. Yeah, unseen sly approach, careful. Like I already was going to say, be careful of this person coming towards you and preaching, you know, telling you things are going to be like this, they're going to do that, they're going to do this. But that that's just all illusions, okay? Let's do a few more. Um, we have marriage. Wedding bells are ringing. Commitment, promise, next level, merging, union, monogamy, partnership, bond, engagement. We have rebuilding. Reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive in your own circumstances. Focus on what you can control. Reinvent, revise, and fixing. Hard work. Somebody's going to try to come in and put in hard work to try to fix things with you. It may not be right now, but it will be at some point. The hard work, you, the hard work will be rewarded. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. What's this mean for this connection? Click crystal clear. It's time to see your life and its limitless pot potential without seeing through the rose-tinted glasses. Clarity, certainty, and truth. We have planning phase. See, take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward so that you may turn your goals into reality. Yeah. So I see you guys like spending some time apart from somebody, them taking a step back from you, you, take, you guys taking a step back from each other, and them really getting clear on what they want, coming up with a game plan, working on themselves. Maybe you're doing the same thing as well. Yeah, we have rebuilding here again. Start over and rebuild stronger. So it's like one foundation, if you want to even, a very unstable foundation between you and this person is being destructed so that a better one can be built in the future if that's what you decide that you want. Putting in the work, second chances, personal strength, working on it, persistence, overcoming challenges. Look, building the foundation. <laughs> okay, this is a very synchronistic reading. A place the heart longs to be. Com comfort, happy, foundation, easy, familiarity. Secure, residence, welcoming, and family. Let's see, why do we have explore options here? Explore new opportunities and look into other options that you may have not noticed before. Choices, opportunities, and refocus. Somebody refocusing, shifting their focus away from what they were focused on and focusing on what they feel is important. What is explore options? Ghosting, or maybe somebody's ghosting their options because they feel like they have all that they need in you or something like that. Because, yeah... Not ready to communicate, not returning calls, texts, disappearing at cold behavior, running away and not talking. And we have path to plenty. And what did I see? We had explore options and we have silly games. Yeah, playing it cool to win. Testing the waters, harmless games. Hiding true feelings, intentions, learning to be vulnerable. And we have path to plenty. You will have no problem getting what you need in life. You will be given more than enough. Abundance, luxury, and comfort. But what about um, ghosting and silly games though? I don't get that protection. So you're being protected from this person protect or you're, they're saying you need to protect yourself from this person. That's why they're saying you need to use discernment about letting this person too close to you, protect your energy and guard, guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. Yeah. If they can't give you something balanced and reciprocal spirit is warning you to not get involved with that. Cause it's only going to drain you. Oops. Hold on. And we have memories. Replaying sweet past memories, nostalgia, longing, regret, holding on to the past. The past is coming back and ascending. See, this person's going to come back at some point and it will, it says starting a new chapter in love. Someone from your past returning and starting a new chapter in love, learning new phase in love, transcending obstacles, preparing for union. So somebody is preparing for union, but there's something about you needing to learn how to be independent or them learning how to be independent. It's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know, free, detached, and uncommitted. That's like the biggest issue here. It's like maybe somebody doesn't know how to be single or they don't know how to like 
the, like I said earlier, the reason why this person feels that they need to have all these options is because they don't like being single. So if things don't work out with you, they like to have a backup plan. They like to have somebody to run to. They like to have, they want to have that security of knowing that they, they won't be alone. They have somebody else that they can go to. It's just, and they need to get out of that. The, somebody needs to stop being codependent. Somebody needs to learn how to like sit with themselves, heal themselves, stop being so avoidant, stop being so avoidant.